Today, we are going to learn how to make this look like this. And wow, look at those bright colors, purples, yellows, and burgundy or rusty colors. Beautiful. Hello, everybody. My name is Deb from Just Do Something Homestead. And today, I'm going to show you how to perk up some old flower containers. Nothing says spring like pansies. They are tough little things. They can endure the cold and the snow, but what they can't handle is the heat. That gives me several months to enjoy these beautiful flowers. And one thing I love about pansies, they come in so many different colors. So when I purchased these little four packs, I looked for ones that had lots of different colors in them. Today, I'm also going to plant some of these little Dutch irises. And I love this color. They are bright, they are happy. I was able to find these last week at Aldi's for $2.49 for 20 of them. Last summer, our house was on the market. And so we had beautiful flowers on our porch at all times. This was one of those planters and I quickly grabbed it before we moved into our new house. But as you can see, we very quickly just stuck some flowers in there so they had a pop of color. But today we are going to replant these. The first thing I'm going to do to revive this planter is to dig out the old plants that I put in there. Now, these have not had any water all winter. They've been sitting outside, and so hopefully I can get them to pop right out. Oh, yeah. All right, these are <laughs> the plants that I put in there last year. You can see their root system did not spread very far. Those were annual, so they will not come back. So I'm going to remove all the ones that were in here. One done, one more to go. And all I have done is pull out the dead plants that were still in it. I've pulled out the flowers in both of my containers. I have used these containers for several years and I wanted to show you the bottom. When I first got them, Jim went through and drilled holes in the bottom of all of my flower containers. So you definitely want to do that regardless if it's metal like this or plastic. You need drainage holes if you're going to plant anything. All right, let's get started. Now, the first thing I did was I laid out some old newspaper on my countertop. I am doing this in my kitchen today because it's very windy outside. And also I purchased some inexpensive um, flowers. So I got pansies at Walmart. And as I said, I got the bulbs over at Aldi's for $2.49. Because I have not used these for a year, this soil is very hard. So what I'm going to do now is I am going to dig and move the soil all around just to aerate it. All right, to do that, I stick my shovel in there. It's a little hand shovel and I turn it and that is going to break up some of this hard, hard soil and that's what we are facing right now. I just set my container into a big tub because I'm going to add water and because of the holes and because this soil is very, very dry, it's going to first flow out the holes and then eventually it will absorb it by sucking it up into the container. I'm going to start by adding some water. As you see, it's just gonna bounce right off of there. I wanted to show you up close what this soil looks like. What we have is we have some old stems. We have lots of old roots that are still in here. All of this becomes compost. You do not need to go through there and try to remove all that. It's going to be stirred in. It's gonna help improve your soil. Each year I replace one third of the soil in each of my flower pots. And so this one, I've pulled out all those flowers that were dead and most of that was clinging to the soil. 
So what I am left with is about two thirds of soil and I am going to stir in my potting soil mix. And this one is a mixture of organic uh, soils that I use. Most of them come from Walmart. And now that I've layered on top my new soil, I am going to stir it in. And I'm thankful that I put this container underneath because it has water in the bottom. So if you had only had your newspaper, you would have a big old mess right now. All right, I'm just gonna stir that in real good. I am going to start by finding where I want to plant my pansies. And these are containers of four, but I'm only going to put three in each pot. The first one I'm gonna put right dead in the center. So as you can see, I put my shovel down in there. I'm gonna push the soil forward and I'm going to put my plant in the hole. I'm gonna start with this yellow one and the easiest way to get it out is to start squeezing the base and gently start pulling. Now my soil is extremely dry, which is one reason I wanted to get these planted today. All right, so I'm able to get him out. Now he's slightly connected to the one next to him. And there we go. Now I'm gonna face him front and put him in the hall. The next two I'm going to move slightly forward in my container. So I'm gonna put one towards the front on one side of the yellow and the other towards the front on the other side. And there we go. Now, as far as care, the first thing I'm going to do is look for any that are already passed and I'm gonna pinch that off, just like that. There's no need to keep the dead flowers back on there. They will develop seeds and that will take the energy from your plant. Now, some people go and take all the flowers off. I'm not taking all these flowers off. They are beautiful. We've got another one coming. So I just go through and if there are any that are goners, such as this one, he's already bloomed, I take him off, but as far as that, nope, I'm not gonna remove the ones that are beautiful. Next, I'm going to water them very deeply. These guys are so thirsty. I should have planned them yesterday, but they are doing fine. They'll perk right up and they will get bigger. All right, so I watered them a little bit. I don't want it dripping too far. Now, mine are going to stay on my shaded porch. And because of that, these guys are gonna bloom for months. And as I said, just to keep them blooming, cut off the ones that have gone to seed. You don't wanna keep those. That will take the energy from your plants. Now pansies are beautiful, but how can I add some more color that continues throughout the summer? The way I do that is that I put different plants in my pot. I am now going to plant some Dutch irises behind my pansies. Dutch irises are gonna get about 20 inches tall. And if planted now, they will come up and they will bloom from May to June. They don't bloom real long, but you'll have the green behind it. And what you wanna do is add depth. So I will now plant some Dutch irises. They are bulbs. This is what the Dutch iris bulbs look like. And what I'm going to do is I am just going to put them right now on the top and spread them out so I can see how close or far apart I want them. Now, when you plant them in containers, you can plant them much closer. I'm gonna put them about three inches apart and I'm even gonna go around the curve so that they will come up there. So there's three. So I'm gonna put six in each one. Oh, yep. Let's see, put one here. Oops, I started to put this guy upside down. All right, one there. I'm gonna plant five. I like to use odd numbers and I know some people don't do that. Um, but I have one centered in the middle. He is behind my pansy and then two to the left and two to the right. These bulbs get planted four inches deep. So I'm gonna use my little shovel and plant them deep. You want at least four inches so that they have time to become strong and grow tall. When my pansies start to get too hot and not grow well, I will remove them and plant something like marigolds. Um, another thing I will most likely do is when it gets a little warmer, I'm gonna put a trailing plant in here. I used to work in a flower shop and you always had a trailing plant 
and then a wow plant, and then a tall plant. And so that's what I wanna do. And these are gonna go on my front porch. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and share. Truly, a lot of friends ask me, how can I help you? That is the one way you can help me more than any other. So I hope this video has been helpful and enjoy those spring colors. Bye-bye.